Stories of soldiers who've come home from combat in places like Afghanistan can be heartbreaking. Trying to readjust to life in the States leaves thousands of veterans with post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, and struggling to find someone who can help them. Marine Sergeant Craig Grossi faced many of those same problems after facing some of the most intense firefights, but both over there and back home, Craig has turned to Fred, a dog <laughs> who seemingly adopted him and has opened doors to the difficult discussion about PTSD. And they're joined by Robin from the Kenton County Library to talk about uh, this book and this relationship. And, and wow, one of the first things I have to tell you, uh, Craig, first of all, thank you for your service yeah, so, so, so yeah. much. Yeah. Um, I don't, I don't figure, figure this kind of dog. Like when I look at Fred, I'm like, right. wow, Fred, yeah. I expected like a big German Shepherd yeah, or you know, know. something like that, right. right? Yeah, he's so different. And he was, he was so different than the environment that he was in, yeah. in Afghanistan. And that was one of the things that really made him stand out to me and to the rest of the Marines that I was with. And, and it wasn't just his his unique physical uh, appearance, his little <laughs> legs and his uh, big tail, but it was more just kind of how he carried himself and how yeah. positive he was. And uh, just despite all the reasons in the world not to be. Yeah. Um, you know, do dogs have a, a rough life over there and so do a lot of people. Yeah. Um, and so you, when you see a stray, it's, you know, you, a lot of times you would think, you know, I'm not gonna get anywhere near that dog. It's gonna snap at me or growl at me. And, and the first time I approached Fred, I was expecting that reaction, yeah. mm -hmm. um, but he wagged his tail. Wow! And that's been, you know, just kind of the the root of our message and our story. You know, it's just this what we call now stubborn positivity, which is, you know, just that that idea of of just finding a reason to wag your tail, finding a reason to, yeah. to be positive. And not just you. I mean, your your fellow service members. You all kind of you smuggled yeah, him into yeah, the camp, and definitely. you did all this work to keep him with yeah, you. Exactly. When you got back, what was it about Fred that helped you with the transition and and the PTSD? Yeah, it was a, it was a lot of things. I mean, for coming home, I, I got out really quickly after I got back from that deployment. And I think one of the biggest ways was was just seeing Fred and, and, and life for all of us is, is so there's so many ups and downs There's so many inconsistencies, but a dog is always always consistent always happy to see you always ready to go outside um, And so at that level, you know, just being a dog in my life was was huge But then at another level sharing our story um, when people would ask me again because of his appearance and you know how unique he is and, and handsome, right, buddy? Look at, look at, look at yeah. that guy. Uh, <laughs> he's like, when, when could I do the weather? <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> he's like, I'm getting bored. Yeah. Oh. He's heard this story thousands of times. But wow. it was it was people stopping me and wanting to, to talk about him. Yeah. And then I, you know before I knew it, I was opening up to strangers on the street and, and, and you know when we were living in Washington D.C. and sharing our story, and that really reconnected me with you know, with the love of, that I had of storytelling and then writing. And, yeah, and so we're, we're really excited to have the book. And we have two, we have two editions. We have a young reader and oh, okay. uh, an adult, which is really, really great. That's good. Yeah. That's awesome. And, and Robin, you have libraries full of amazing stories. What yeah. is it about this, this story that really drew you in? Well, it's such an inspiring story and um, reaches so many different people, whether you're an animal lover or veteran, have some PTSD, family members or suffering yourself. It's mm. just, he, he reaches a broad audience with such a positive message that we felt it was very important that um, we bring him in. Yeah. So people uh, can see him tonight. Do you have to, I mean, are you expecting a big crowd for, well, for Craig well, and Fred? Re registration is not required, okay. but Joseph Beth has been selling a lot of books for us oh, yeah. in advance great. and they'll be there tonight selling also. Um, so yeah, we're hopeful. He has programs at six o'clock tonight. It's free at the Erlanger branch of the Kenton County Library. Okay. Awesome. Well, guys, th thank you. Oh, we can talk yeah, to you all day. Yeah, sure. Thank you. That. Yeah. And I, <laughs> there is a very calming effect coming yeah. off of this yeah. right, right now. Yeah. He's, he's just phenomenal. He's very peaceful, very peaceful guy, unless you're a squirrel. And he's, and he's, all, he's <laughs> all over it. He's yeah. all over it. <laughs> Six to eight tonight, Kenton County Erlanger Branch. Thank you so much, Robin. Uh, thank you. Greg. Yeah. Mm. And we'll get more information up at local12.com.